To make a sculpture like Asterisk and works of this kind of scale, you really need to be able to, you know, dream like an artist and design like an architect and think a bit like an engineer. My name is Jill Gatfield. I'm a sculptor based in New Zealand. I work internationally and I do projects of all kinds of scale. The title Asterisk comes from the Greek word Asteriskos, which means little star. It's a title that is like a placemaking title because it refers to the universe and what's occurring around the planet. And it also relates to not only Greek astronomy, but also to Aboriginal um, cultural astronomy. Asterisk um, contains many ideas. It's, um, it's a layered artwork. So thinking for the materials that I chose um, to use, I got stone from three different corners of Australia, which is of course the oldest continent in the world. And those rocks are meaningful in the sculpture and they're brought together in combination again in an intersection. The intersecting planes that occur through asterisk, the tunnel stone is actually the piece that is the guiding or placing piece and the others come into that but they continue through it and all of those stones align. In the process of developing asterisk I was very interested and focused on understanding the Aboriginal astronomy dimension um, that this work would potentially relate, relate to. In Australia, relatively recently, the smallest star in the Southern Cross, called Geenan, has actually been given internationally that name. Um, and this development is, is like, I guess it's the reclaiming of Indigenous knowledge within, within our um, sciences. And I was so excited to learn this because, of course, asterisk in Greek meaning little star, and Geenan being also the smallest star in the, in the major constellation um, relating to the continent of Australia, to see the alignment there between both naming and it, its, its importance in that place. To complete the sculpture, in my vision of it, was to actually then encircle it with these beautiful sandstone blocks that are from the St Peter's area. And those blocks were once the curbstones um, alongside the roads. So it seemed like a good connection to bring those roadside blocks back into now a new park um, that recognise that those roads have gone, but they hold a history um, of that particular community. To make a sculpture like Asterisk, you really need to be able to communicate um, with both the people who are who are commissioning um, the sculpture, but also with the audience that you think that you're going to be speaking with or that the work will connect with. Asterisk invites people to come in and touch it and to engage in it. And the way that the geometry works, there's an opportunity for people to, I guess, feel um, they're in their own space, um, as well as being in a communal or collective being part of the West Connects Public Art Program is a really unique opportunity to be able to explore the cultural um, context, um, in particularly um, Australia, and, and what's happening with the bicultural um, shift and understanding um, in Australia. These are places where conversations can start. Public art is, you know, one of those um, go forward areas in cities and, and towns and places all across the globe, um, particularly in a COVID context where, you know, we've got people being able to come into public space and interact. 